guys, Carrie Hawkins here with another VectorMade tutorial. I was working on something for a client today and I thought I'd just show you uh, a simple tip on how to do something uh, that can save you a little bit of time. And this is going to be with line segments, so uh, let's just jump on in. So I've got this map in front of me. Originally I had redesigned some trifold brochures for a client and here's what they look like. And they went ahead and printed some of these off, needed them really quickly. And then they came back today and just wanted a few little tweaks. One of which was they didn't like that this was our locations. They wanted to actually say where they do business and sort of have their central hub here and have the rest of these be offshoots of that. And so one of the things he wanted to see was maybe if they could do like some lines from their central hub, which I've changed to a star. And so each one of these is going to have a line going to it. And I thought, you know, I'll just show you guys how you can do this really quickly and easily. So if you've got your line segment tool, you can just come in here and start drawing lines. But before we do that, let's do something else. So here I've got this map, which is separate. I'm going to go ahead and leave that in one layer. I'm, I'm going to make a couple of layers. Um, for layer two, so I've got one, two, let's put them this way so I've got it right. All right, so I've got layer one, two, three. Layer one will be the map um, when we're done. So I'll go ahead and just label that map. Um, layer two, let's select these same fill in stroke and that'll get everything. Also a nice tip for if you just want to select a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I'll go ahead and control X and then paste that into place with control F. So now those, we'll just call those dots and we'll call this one lines so we can lock these two and if I do that, we, we can see that I've got them all in the right spot. So that's good. So we can start with the lines. Um, we'll do the line segment. And one thing that is helpful when you're doing things that you want absolute accuracy is to have um, these little uh, indicators, you know, see where it says center or intersect or what have you, all these little kind of purplish, hot, magenta -y looking lines. Um, to get those, if they're not on, just hit Control U. So you have to turn them off. Control U again, you turn them on. They're really helpful sometimes, other times they get annoying. So just play with that. If you're, but if you're dealing with needing to be like perfectly in, in center, like I want to go right from the center of the star to the center of this circle, boom, it's really nice to have that. And I'm probably gonna do white for the stroke and I think one point, which is the default weight is gonna be enough. Now, instead of just going like this and creating a whole bunch of new ones, uh, you can do this little trick that it, it saves a little bit of time. So uh, what I would do is do view outline right here or control Y, and then grab this point with the indirect or the direct selection tool, which is also A. So you're just gonna grab this and click and drag. And as you do that, you're gonna hold alt. See how that changes the cursor? And then if I click and, and let go, all of a sudden I've got two lines, right? So let's switch back, make sure that we've got both. Yep. I mean, otherwise, if you just click, you're gonna just move it, right? So you don't wanna just move it, you wanna move it and make a copy. So you gotta hold Alt and do like this. So I'm not using outline now because you, you've seen what I do, you see how I get to this point. But um, since these two layers are locked, I don't, I'm not in any worry of moving any of this stuff. All I'm gonna move is this thing right here, which is great. So you just kind of come along and do like that. One thing you have to do is click off every time you make a new one because if you don't, I'll show you what happens. If I don't click off right here and I try and click and drag again, I'm, I'm dragging the whole thing because when you let go, it selects this both points or the whole line segment. So you have to click off grab it, go again, etc. So anyway, I just thought this was a nice little um, tip to help speed up your production time and help you make a little bit more money by saving yourself some time. Um, so anyway, that's, I mean, that's the gist of it right there. Um, pretty simple. You can finish that all up and, um, you know, do it however you want and, and use this technique in all sorts of ways. You don't have to just use it with line segment. But uh, that seems to be the most practical here. So anyway, uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Uh, let me know what you guys think. 
All right, until next time, peace.